Good morning guys I'm not as hyper as you guys think it's the coffee it is currently 6 30 in the morning and I'm recording I woke up at 6 went to sleep at 1 don't try this at home no I went to sleep at 2 because today's video is creating Catriona's gray or Miss Universe makeup that she did on Vogue her makeup routine her beauty secrets and it's also what the type of makeup that she used in her pageant what makeup she was wearing when she won obviously i think miss universe is extremely gorgeous and aside from that she's very i loved her makeup story because it was very um simple there weren't any expensive products now i don't have all the products so i did use a couple of dupes but if you guys are interested in watching that and seeing her everyday makeup or how i recreate her look just keep on watching Okay, so what she does first is she takes micellar water or micellar water. I didn't never know how to say it. Now, mine is almost done. Mine's finished. So I had to use the ones for my clients and I had to buy a new one. So as you guys can see, there is micellar or micellar, micellar water here. And I have my nice little cotton pads in this mason jar that I write cotton pads on it. So she does that first, that first, which is good because... You know, that's how you start to clean up your face before you start applying any other makeup products. Okay, after she uses that, she uses a serum. The serum that we're going to be using today is from Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. They do say that it's a night repair, but I like to use it in the mornings as well. And as you guys can tell, there's not much left of it. So I'm just using a little bit. Your neck. Don't forget your neck, guys. Don't forget your neck. Next, what she uses is eye night cream. And she has green tint on. And what green does is it cancels out the red. So if you have any redness around, I'm sure I mentioned that in my winter skincare routine. So you guys can see. Don't have a eye cream that has a green a green tint so i'm gonna be using my regular Estee Lauder night repair um eye cream and this is more like a gel and as you guys can see it's like i love this night i love this um eye cream it is also a night repair but you can use it in the morning guys because you know you don't always have to follow the rules I am, right, I am very interested to see what kind of eye cream she used that has green tint on. Now, what I'm going to be using as my moisturizer, because she does put um, a moisturizer around. I have redness around here, so I'm using an El, El Serene Retinas Relief. This has a green tint on. So I'm just going to put it around. I'm just gonna put it around where I have the most redness. I'm telling you guys, it's okay if you don't have the products that she uses. I am taking what is kind of similar, and I'm also using dupes. So I googled a lot of dupes for this makeup tutorial. She also uses lip balm, but I'm gonna be using some Vaseline for my lips because it's the winter, and my my lips are are really. They're not dry, but it got cracked a little bit here. This is very accessible to you guys. I'm, I'm sure all of you guys have Vaseline in your home. If you guys don't have lip balm, that is another alternate. Oh, I can't talk. It's either the coffee or it's too early for me. I don't know what it is. For the primer, she uses the Pro Filter um, Primer from Fenty Beauty. I've, I've been trying to get my hands on that. For the longest, every time I say, okay, I'm going to buy it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, and, and then I'll buy it. So I googled the dupes for the Pro Filter Fenty Beauty, and by dupes, I mean anything that's similar or cheaper. And um, you guys do know I use a lot of drugstore products for me. So um, one of the dupes was uh, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stain Matte. I'm surprised. I've never had it. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, illuminating uh, primer but I don't have the 
that primer. So I'm just going to use a regular The Pore Professional Primer, which is this one. Right here where we get, you know. If you guys follow my YouTube tutorials or my tutorials on Instagram, you guys know that I first do my eyes and then I do my face in case I have any fallout. But she does something different, so what she does is she starts with the face first and then she kind of goes in to her eyes. She uses the NARS foundation. Um, if you guys have it, perfect. If you guys don't, like my case. A dupe that I googled is um, Super Stay Matte, which is this one. And I'm in the shade 310, but that's when I'm like fairly tan. And um, I'm not tan right now. As you guys can see, I will be tan soon though. And um, so I'm probably a shade lighter, but whatever. Sit on her face. I don't know. After that, she takes her beauty blender and she starts blending away. For concealer, she uses um, her. She also uses a NARS concealer. Again, I don't have that concealer, so a couple dupes is the State Fit Maybelline uh, that I ran out of, and um, I've also heard of the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. So she just says that she puts some here, and then she kind of just covers up any imperfection that she has. For me, I'm just gonna put it where I'm kind of breaking out or where I have like any blemishes or imperfections next she takes the Huda Beauty pound cake and this is exactly what she takes this is how it looks like it smells delicious you guys if you guys haven't bought it I really recommend this is like really good um, I like Laura Mercier also but I really like this one and what she uses she doesn't bake her whole face she actually just bakes her eyes and she uses it for uh, the fallout that she's gonna get from um, kind of doing her eyeshadow. Now what I like about her is that she has almond eyes which makes it easier for me and if you're watching and you have almond eyes it makes it easier for you too and what she does is she likes to take a nice champagne. So today I'm gonna be using this ColourPop I Think I Love You palette which I haven't used in years. So I'm gonna take a nice champagne color like she says. Taking this one which is Rowdy. And what she does is she likes to put it on her brow bone. After that she says that she kinda likes to map out her eyes since it's almond eyes she likes to kind of just put the focus right here at the end what are we going to be using today is our soft glam anastasia uh, and i swear to god you guys i've probably used this like three times i don't know why every time i buy a new pa a palette and i don't use it as much then i buy another one and i'm like oh i love this one and then i buy another one and i'm like i love this one and whatever we're going to be using sienna which is a dark brown. Because if ever I want to play up with the base of my color, I can go in with like a pink or a blue, but usually I grab something that's more blue. So she does add a couple of layers of different browns just to make it more, to intensify, I guess, the brown, which is good. Um, this is what I'm doing. I'm, take, I'm using the brown and I'm kind of just sticking it out and I'm using, again, and we're going to do it on the other eye. She kind of is into blending, but she does add a couple of layers of brown. So um, just bear with me when you see me adding like crazy. The next uh, darker brown is Cypress Umber. And this is like a chocolate brown. This I'm taking a rustic, which is this one. And this one is kind of a lighter brown, but I'm kind of using it to blend it here with the inner corner and I'm bringing it up to here because that's what she kind of did she brought it in a little bit more so I'm using the dark and this one mixed next she uses a, a bronzy color and she uses just her finger and I'm gonna be using this bronze color right here I think it's the perfect thing to do so I'm just using my finger.
she just she does use like a primer for her lid and I think it's from NARS one I don't have it and two I'm not gonna put it on because I'm gonna take this makeup right off as soon as I'm done filming because I have to go to work so I'm not putting any of that but that kind of helps intensify the look so if you guys want to go for it go for it now she uses uh, one of Stila's glitters that I love Stila but I don't have that glitter I only have it in gold and I believe in silver but what she's using is kind of like a bronzy look what I do have is the Wet n Wild pigment ombre and it's one of the new pigments that the loose pigment powders that just came out and it's in the color noel so i'm going to be taking some of my glitter which is my next glitter right here put it on where the bronzy color is And you want to go over it with the brown and kind of blend it out that's what i'm going to be doing um what she does next is she underlines her eyes with a pencil which is a very good idea um, a lot of us have issues putting eyeliner because you know you do the line kind of like weird so what she does is she first uses pencil liner on her eye and kind of just draws out the shape that she wants because you can always you know it's just better and then she goes out with the eyeliner kind of just following that um, the eyeliner that she does is not like a full cat eye and of course you're not gonna wear like a full cat eye on a pageant so remember this is kind of like a pageant this is the pageant look that she used for Miss Universe so I'm not gonna underline my eyes with pencil but you guys can always do that I'm just gonna go straight in with a little bit of ink I haven't done this wing uh, this short and like so long but I kind of like it next what she does is she preps for lashes I usually leave lashes for last but hello we're doing what she's doing she curls her lashes she says not to curl too much or too up because um, then it just gets in with your falsies which is true so I'm gonna do that now they do sell in like Sephora they sell a special curler for like um, almond eyes which is very essential for people that have almond eyes take some mascara one of my favorite mascaras okay so what she first uses for eyelashes is very natural lashes she says and then she adds both of them um, I have these as natural as possible for like my client but I'm gonna be using it with you guys today you can see it's a very natural so I'm gonna be adding another pair of lashes the glue I love this duo glue with the little brush on I think it's perfect you don't have to wait long wow I hear you don't have to wait long for it to like you know dry and everything you can just put it put it and just like Go like this for like two seconds and then apply it and that's it now after she's done with the lashes i'm not a big fan of these lashes i'm not gonna find these two colors that we used before and it's the rustic and cypress member and i'm just gonna put it on the bottom lash and kind of just following what she did another interesting thing she does after she smokes out her under um, eyes is she takes out the liquid liner and she follows this inner line right here with it I don't know if you guys can see it um, I'm gonna try to show it she kind of lines this inner corner right here which I love because it does make her stand out now she dusts out her powder with a sheer powder like the Laura Mercier but we're just gonna take it out. She starts off with putting on her highlighter which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and she takes a small brush and I'm gonna just use my finger I'm gonna put it right here in the middle then to contour her nose she uses an, she uses an eyeshadow um, sculpting eyeshadow or for the eyelash for the eyebrows and she's a tiny little brush it can be um, I'm using any brush and I'm just gonna take this dark shadow and I'm gonna she starts she goes 
by her eyebrow and then she starts kind of shaping the shape that she wants there you have the blend 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 she uses blushes by mac but i'm using uh the milani luminoso which is accessible for anyone it is a drugstore she uses like a nice little peachy or a nice little pink and so we're gonna do that she doesn't show when she um contours her face but i guess it's obvious so i'm just gonna be using my hula beauty bronzer which is like this and i'm gonna put it all around in highlight she uses a fenty beauty a uh, nice champagne highlight but i'm gonna be going with gold right here so i'm just gonna put it here puts it very close to her eyes which is right here but she doesn't bring it all the way in she just leaves it right there she uses a pencil for her eyebrows so i'm gonna be using the wet and wild retractable pencil now a nice little trick that she taught us after doing this eyebrows is she uses the dual and um she uses a white one but you can also i wouldn't recommend the dark one. this now these are for eyebrows that don't stay in place my eyebrows stay in place because i don't have that much hairs her eyebrows do so what she does is she puts the glue on her hand like this i'm not gonna do it because it's a black glue she takes a spoolie and she like kind of she kind of just brushes her hair and puts it how she wants it with the lash glue and then i know it's white but then it starts drying out which is genius i've never heard of this hack i will try it but like i said my eyebrows are not really bushy she has more of like a full brow but i should try it okay and last she uses a lip liner she says she always wears a lip liner no matter what um color she wears so i'm using a brown lip liner which is something that you guys should always use she uses two options she uses a brown or she uses her red and a red was what she used for her pageant so i'm going to be using a red and i'm using my favorite favorite red of all time she uses a fenty beauty stana lip and it's a really beautiful red also but this is the red that i have because um i love it it's ariba and it's from um i love sarai or sarai and so here you go Okay guys, so that is it. I'm gonna do the nice last finish touch and show you guys the final look and I'll be right back. And that is it guys, the final look. <laughs> I know, right? I put on a nice little dress and a, a crown. This is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I went over it real quick or maybe I took forever. I'm not sure. I'll know when I edit. But um, it's a pretty simple look that anyone can achieve. It's pretty easy and the products that I use are very affordable like I said and you can just kind of play around with all the products and um, okay so I hope you guys like the look if you guys want to try it I know I'm a little extra but if you guys want to try it you know follow this video or follow her video I'll link her video down below it's very interesting it's very funny she's very down to earth I love how she is she's very beautiful she did deserve the Miss Universe crown and i've always I, I love pageants it's like i love it so anyways guys um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will be posting another video soon i believe sunday so stay tuned uh, anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll talk to you guys soon bye Say guys i'm calling out of work no i'm just kidding okay i'm gonna take this makeup off now don't you guys love it i have to take this makeup off <laughs> i forgot to say i came back to just say this don't forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel it's just one click away and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i post a video okay also it's just a click away Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it, please. This helps me out and this helps you out because YouTube knows what to show you. So, yeah, I just came to say that and um, I'm logging off. I'm taking off my makeup and I'm going to get my ass to work.